welcome to map tv please do subscribe to our channel for more videos click on the bell button hey people of the world welcome this is mop tv and my name is donald it's about common world of zakan assembly koza pastor building for toimbo you know there is no news that he actually made the news last month and held us for like one month trending hot topic top one twitter instagram everywhere tensioning the whole cyberspace with the allegation of being raised by Busola the Colo, who happens to be the wife of Timmy the Colo. There was a protest that saw him down the pulpit, and um, the protest also wanted him to resign in quotes. That is not really what it, they just say step down, and he stepped down, and now he has stepped up again. You know, he stepped down to step up after one month. Nice one. Now, the, the issue is that there was a panel set up by Khan. And that panel was set up um, through the arm of PFN, that is the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. And this is a body that actually oversees the activities and the and, uh, dealings of interdenominational inter issues within the church, like this church and the church quarreling and other one having issues. It is PFN that will come and mend things, settle them and help for peace. You know, where too many of them are gathered, there will be disagreements to agree, so there will be bodies that will actually oversee that. So the Supreme Body for Interdenominational Issues happens to be PFN, and the Supreme Body for Interreligious and Political versus the Church Issues happens to be Han. If you don't know, that's just the whole ground. Now, Khan actually said initially that they disowned um, Pastor Biodun for talking about saying he's not a member because actually the church is actually go to register under his bodies. PFN also disowned them, but the tension of the heat was so high. In fact, at the climax now, Khan also said, okay, we need to move into this situation and set up PFN to actually investigate this internally to be able to know how it's going to because it is also written in the bible that the case or the issues of the church should not be taken for unbelievers to judge them it should be judged within the church so can't saw that and um, they wanted to wave in and obey the bible so but having said that the disowned letter came into the matter in fact to the chairman not not central and the chairman um abuja actually paid a visit to Pastor Biodun Fato in both church and, and they gave him solidarity, which a lot of people said is bad, is wrong. They've taken bribe. Brother and sister, this man is not good. What you did is not nice. Yeah. They talked and talk, and these people went. And now, Pastor Biodun Fato Inbo has been invited by PFN, and he said no. That is not going anywhere. I, I, I think I get a gist here, a full gist is down. You can check it up on the channel. Now, he said he's not going anywhere and people are now questioning why are you guilty the security conscious is not guilty it's like you're guilty you why not go and answer and clear your conscience now he has given us the reason why he did not go why he did not answer them why he does not go there to say anything because he don't want to say anything there now he said after the investigation by the police i will honor their own investigation or their own invitation <laughs> Wonders will never end if it ends. That means the world has ended too because the world is full of wonders. Now, the thing is, he said that he is being advised legally not to honor the invitation of PFN because PFN actually disowned him. So they are prejudiced and their judgment will be biased. <laughs> but on the 30th of July, I stand to be corrected, he received a call demanding that he comes to Lagos, and which is not official, but then two days later he received a mail coming to come invite being invited to PF and Lagos. Now which he replied that he will not be able to honor them or saying that the, the his legal advisor said he should not go anywhere after police investigation, he has the right to go or not to go, but he chose not to go because that PFN is biased. PFN um, is prejudiced, who will prejudice him, and all that and all that. So, what do you think about him not only because he feels that they will prejudice him? Does he really actually amount? In the sense that you're going there and you answer the questions given to you, they're not going to beat you, they're not going to impose anything on you, it's just to ask you questions, and you already feel prejudiced. Hey, dear Lord. But you said that this disowned you. Yes, Khan also disowned you. But when Khan Chairman Abuja and Khan Chairman North Central came to your church, you did not feel prejudiced. They mounted the pulpit. 
No, I'm just reasoning. They mounted the pulpit and they were accepted giving microphone and they gave their support. You do not remember that they forced this own deal and by so doing, they should are not allowed to come. Hey, one will do things, but let's you see, it's about sense of belonging, sense of respect. You understand? It's about respect to the people that believe in you. There is accountability as being a leader. There is a level of accountability. You know, so going to BFN does not, if they ask you a question you don't want to answer, you say, I do not want to answer this question. And I think nobody's going to force you to answer. But at least appearing actually shows leadership trait and respect. It does not stop police investigation. No, it does not hamper neither anything. That is what I think. I do not know what you think. What do you think? Do you think what I said is right? If you think it's wrong, write on the comment section. If you think it's right, still write on the comment section. But this is my little opinion and take on this issue. Because this issue tension a lot of faiths and Christian. And things are just not, it's very sensitive. So you should be treated with all account, sense of accountability, responsibility and honesty. That's what I think. I do not know what you think. If you think otherwise, yes, he has a right. But this, what I'm saying, morally, and um, from the leadership part of it, he's not a politician, he is a church leader. So, two different things. If political politicians are being, we will understand. But this is my take on it. My name is Donald and this is Mopti. I don't know what whatever you think about it, just put down on the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so when next we post the video.